crafty friends, it's Tina from the Scrap and Rabbit blog and I'm very excited because today is release day and it is the Stamp Anything Land of Oz release. And this is the bundle that we are all showcasing today and I'm so excited because when I got this in the mail I just almost died. I loved every single thing in this set. So the special is... Uh, for the weekend only, through this Sunday at 11.59 p.m., you can purchase this. 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the sale of this bundle will end. And then it'll go to regular price on Monday. And you can buy all of the different stamps and dies and die cuts and all the stuff. So let me just let me show you everything that's in this kit. And then I'll tell you more about the special. So... You get one, two, three, four, five, six stamp sets. And this is the first one. And this is Nicole as Dorothy. And she is so super cute. And the sentiment that you get with this one is there's no place like home. And you also get a little poppy flower. So that is the first stamp set. The second one here is the Scarecrow. And you get the sentiment, I love you and your brain. And he is so cute. I just love him. The third stamp set is Stephen as Tin Man. And you get the sentiment, home is where the heart is. And you also get the little oil can. And it can be the little his little hat. <laughs> so cute. Then you get the little lion. And this is Zach as Lion. He's adorable, and the sentiment is, no lion, you're the best. My favorite here is Glinda, and she is an original for this set, and then the sentiment is, not your basic witch. You also get an additional stamp set that features some sentiments, in addition to this crown and wand for Glinda. And the sentiments say, you have the courage to do anything. You're all heart. Thank you for being so awesome. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So you get all of these stamps. The stencil is awesome. I've never used stencils. This is my first time. I bought a few, but I haven't actually used them because I want to order that Distress Oxide ink, and I haven't had a chance to do that. But this stencil set features trees, and it I, I'll show you because I used it in my project. So you get five different tree, um, the branchy part, and then look at all of these circles and different shaped uh, domes and sizes that you can put around the trees for the greenery. So you get the stencils. You get a bag with 36 die cuts. So these are all pre-stamped on just really high quality cardstock. Colors beautifully with the Copics. And so let me just show you these die cuts because I think that they're so much fun to work with. And they're so easy because you just take and pop them right out of here, out of a little package. So you get rainbows. You get some apple trees. The little scary apple trees. You get the tornado with the house in it. Get a few of those. You get the Emerald City die cut. You get the um, hot air balloons. You get these little clock hearts for the Tin Man. You know, it's the Tin Man theme. Isn't that cute? You also get all these little poppies. So you get a ton of these little guys here. And then lastly, you also get the little badge of courage there okay and then there's more poppies so you get all kinds of fun little die cuts stamped on quality cardstock ready to color to add to your projects and I did use these for my projects so I can't wait to show you and last but not least you get some dies and I love these dies because I don't have anything like this you have you get the it's called Land of Oz, and these are builders, it's six pieces. So you get a fence, you get a road. This one right here is like, see how it's kind of like going into like a little path. 
you get a couple clouds, and then these are scenery type of builders. So you can use this for bushes or treetops or clouds. And then again, you can use this for clouds or grass or hills. So these are the dies that come in this bundle. So the bundle regular price is $77.49. And this weekend you can get all of this for $69.75 through 11:59 p.m. Sunday Eastern Standard Time. And there is a uh, bundle that's going to be given away to one lucky commenter that participates in the blog hop. So if you have never participated in a blog hop, I'm, hop, I'm going to leave the first stop in the description box below. And all you do is you click on that link and it's going to take you to a blog and then you'll I'll read all about the special, what I just told you, you'll look at the project and then you'll leave a comment. And typically the comments are at the bottom, but sometimes depending upon what uh, blog provider the person is using, sometimes the comments, you have to click on the top to add a comment. And then uh, you follow the blog, there's like a subscriber button or to follow this blog, click here. And basically it's just an email thing. And then uh, you get email notices whenever somebody posts a blog post. And then that makes you an official blog hop follower and you leave a comment and that puts you in the running to win this bundle. And so there's a stop on every design team members uh, uh, blog and then you'll check out all the fantastic, oh my goodness, so many amazing projects by these designers. They are such a talented group. I am so lucky to be part of this design team. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still still fighting this. It's a cold now, so it's not the flu, but it's the cold. And I'm still struggling with it, but I am feeling so much better. Thank you, everybody, for all of your well wishes. <clears throat> so now, let me go ahead and share with you what I made using all of this fun product. So my first card is using Dorothy and I think that she turned out so super cute. So I colored her up and then I just doodled the little checkers on her dress. I added some sparkle to her ruby slippers. I used the scene builder dies for the yellow brick road. I ran this cut through my embossing folder, which is the paper studios embossing folder. Let me show you that. I'm so glad that I bought this when I did and it was like on sale for $2 or something and so you get these little bricks with the speckles and I got this at Hobby Lobby and it really makes an awesome brick road and then I added some distress inks to color it up and to give it some more um, dimension and then those die cuts that I showed you I colored up the Emerald City and the rainbow with these and look at how cute they turned out so I added some sparkle with my Crystal Nouveau marker. Let me see if I can find that, it's right here. So I used this red one for her slippers. And then this is the um, Nouveau glitter marker. Mar marker. <laughs> Can't talk today. Um, so it's the same company that makes those Crystal Nouveau drops, but this is the actual marker. And look at how fun and sparkly. So I colored it with greens, Copic markers, and then I added that sparkle. And then the rainbow, I just used Copics. I cut out the little clouds with the scene dies, and as well as the greenery here. So that is using these dies right here. So you get this kind of a look here using that die. And also there's another layer there. I also took this die and laid it across my paper here and then added some distress inks in. I so I used it as a stencil to do some clouds in the background because I thought the white was a little bit boring. So I added a little bit of uh, more uh, to get a better background look using some distress inks. And so that's my first card, and I use the sentiment, there's no place like home. And look at how cute is Toto. He's so cute. So the, this was so much fun. This I can't tell you how much fun I had playing with these. So that is my first project. My second card I made using the cutie tootie Tin Man. 
I love the Tin Man, another one of my favorites. So I colored him up with Copics and I used um, a black hair combo. So this was using my cool grays. And then I also colored up the tree with my green Copics and some brown for the trunk. I used this stencil. See how cool that is for the background? So I did the trees and then I did all the different, um, the leaves. I did lots of different sizes to go on this background with a couple different green colors to fill that up and make it look really cool. I cut out the fence and the greenery again using the dyes. I did cut out the yellow brick road, but then I just trimmed it to the corner of my paper. And then I added that sentiment, you're all heart, and I embossed it with white embossing powder and then used that Nouveau glitter marker to fill in that little heart. And then these cute poppies are from the Dorothy stamp set here. And so I stamped a few of those, colored them up in red because I felt like it needed a little color. And my apples were being covered under the hill because there are apples with this tree. And I actually cut them out and I was going to color them and put them somewhere you could see and I lost them. <laughs> so I decided to just go ahead and stamp some poppies and add that for a little splash of color. So that is my second card for this release. And then my last card, and this one was my favorite to play with, was using the Glinda. And I put her in her magic floating bubble. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? So for this bubble, all I did was I used some shimmer sheets and I have quite a few packs of it and I have this pink pearlescent one and I thought, you know what, that would look perfect. And it gives you that alcohol ink kind of a look and the paper is on, it feels like that, like a glossy photo paper, maybe a little bit thicker. And so I thought she worked out perfect. The circle is four and a half inches and that's how she fit in there. I used the little crown and the wand with the little accessory set here with the sentiments and accessories. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's so much sparkle on her. I used my uh, sparkle marker to glitter up her whole dress and I used glitter paper for her wand. And then I added a gem here on her crown. And then I just made a scene for the background. This is a six by six inch square card. I made the brick road the same way as I did on my first card. I added that fence and some greenery and then some clouds. And then that is it. And click your heels three times and make a birthday wish. That is actually a sentiment from Jaded Blossom and uh, that it was also designed by Annie, who does stamp Annie thing. And so this is my trio that I'm sharing with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and also leave a link to the shop in the description box below. So if you are interested in buying any of this or interested in checking it out and visiting the blog, I have been given an affiliate link. And so I am able to get a little bit of credit if anybody buys using my link and so my link is going to be in the description box below if anything here if you are inspired and you wanted to take a look at this set please use my link i would truly appreciate that and it's the the same link is also on my blog as well and i'm the last stop on the blog hop if you are going to hop along for your chance to win one of these bundles today well, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you'll leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. And I have more projects to share with you. And I hope, to, I hope you'll come back and visit again. Have a great day, everyone. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.